the menstrual cycle is controlled by four hormones, each with a different role. Follicle-stimulating hormone, or FSH, causes the maturation of an egg in the ovary. This image shows the egg maturing in the ovary because of the FSH. For the exam, you do need to know the full name of this hormone, follicle-stimulating hormone, as well as its role. A follicle is a ball of cells which contains the egg cell. You don't need to recall what the follicle is for the exam, but knowing what it is really helps to remember what FSH does. What other hormones are involved? Luteinizing hormone, or LH, stimulates the release of the egg. So the egg is released because of luteinizing hormone. Again, for the exam, you need to know the full name of this hormone, so luteinizing hormone, as well as its role. This release of the egg is called ovulation. What other hormones are involved? Oestrogen and progesterone are involved in maintaining the lining of the uterus. In other words, they control the thickness of the uterine lining throughout the cycle. In this context, the word maintain means helping to repair and control the thickness of the uterus lining. So in summary, what do we need to know about hormones? This table will summarise everything that you need to know about each of these hormones. So let's start with oestrogen and progesterone. These are both involved in maintaining the uterine lining. Follicle stimulating hormone, or FSH, causes an egg to mature in an ovary. And luteinizing hormone, or LH, stimulates the release of an egg, otherwise known as ovulation. Oestrogen and progesterone are produced in the ovaries, and FSH and LH are produced by the pituitary gland. You are expected to be able to recall all of this information in the exam. Thanks for watching. If you want to take your GCSE revision to the next level, head over to launchpadlearning.com and check out our smart learning platform that's been designed to get you top results in your exams. We cover your whole specification and make revision fun with interactive quizzes, easy to follow videos and more. You'll be kept motivated by your own AI tutor who's here to support you every step of the way. To check it out for yourself, click here. Or click here to keep watching a selection of the videos from our full GCSE Biology course. See you there!